Okay, look at this number 13. Let's watch what happens to the 13 when we multiply it by 10. 13 times 10 equals 130. Watch where I put this number in the place value chart. You can see how the number 13 moved to the left by one place value. Every time you multiply a number by 10, you move it to the left one place value. Let's take now 130 and multiply it by 10. We're going to get 1300. Watch where it goes in the place value chart. It moves over 1. This is what happens to numbers when you multiply them by 10. They move to the left by one place value. Now let's multiply 25,652 times 10. We're going to move over one place value to the left. Now, multiply 256,520 times 10. Again, you're going to move over one place value to the left. And now you have 2,565,200. Notice that when you're multiplying by 10, you're adding a zero. What do you think happens when you multiply a number by 100? Well, think about it. When you multiply by 10, you add a zero, moving the digits to the left once. Well, when you multiply by 100, you're adding two zeros and moving two places to the left. So let's see how this works. 1,563 times 100 equals 1, 5, 6, 3, 2 zeros. Now your number is 156,300.